everybody. I'm Joe. And I'm Melissa. And together we are JM Photo Video, and we'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Blue Hour, our podcast where we talk about wedding photography, videography, and all things creative entrepreneurship. And this is our first episode in 2024. So we're excited to be back. Um, we took a little break for the holidays, and it feels like every sickness went through our house in the month of December. Yep. So um, we're excited to be back. And in this episode, we're going to be kind of recapping our 2023 year and then our goals that we have for 2024. So first off, we'd like to just say a big thanks to all the people who were in front of our camera in 2023, mm -hmm. all of our couples and yeah. families. It was a great year. Yeah. We've definitely grown a lot this year um, in our style as well as, yep. you know, our business as well. We've, we've gotten to meet new people, new couples. Um, and so we're just thankful and grateful for everybody that was in front of our camera this year. Yep. And we took the spring off last year. Yeah. Would you like to tell us why? Since it was... Yeah, it was kind of my thing, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it was our thing. Um, so we welcomed our second daughter in March. Um, so she's going to be one here in a couple months. And um, so we kind of took from January until almost June completely off to just yeah. enjoy her and transition from being a family of three to being a family of four. Yep. So we kind of got a later start into weddings in 2023. So we're excited to be diving into wedding season earlier this year. Way earlier, February. Yeah, February is our first wedding this year. Yep. So we're excited to be getting into it a little faster this year. Yeah, it was a good break. It, it was, was a good break. It was needed. Necessary. Um, it, it really helped with the transition into a, being a family of four. And despite that break, we crammed yes. a lot into oh, the yeah. second half of 2023. Yeah, we pretty much fit an entire year worth of weddings into September and October. Yes, um, in 2023. So we definitely like, by the time we got to November and December, we were kind of like, okay, we need a little break. <laughs> the bags are still under my eyes. It's yes. Fine. I'm still recovering from wedding <laughs> season last year. <laughs> um, so something exciting that we did was we rebranded. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of speaking on like the, the business kind of larger picture yeah. side. We rebranded. Yeah. That was one of our goals in 2023 was to, like really focus in on our business and our brand. And so we actually worked with a girl that I went to high school with. She owns Origin Design Collective. Her name is Sam Jones. She's an amazing graphic designer. So if you're in need of any um, graphic design work, re definitely reach out to her and we'll be sure to tag her in the show notes and in the description on YouTube. For sure. We just thought it was important to elevate our brand and our mm -hmm. online presence to what we feel like our customer experience has become. Yeah. So we worked with her. We chatted through a lot of things. Yeah. And um, she really helped us solidify our brand identity. Yep. Um, she kind of guided us through the process of like, who is J&M? Yes. And so I really feel like that helped us develop who we were as a business Instead of just, oh, there are people that do photography and videography. Like, Agreed. What do we really care about with our business and what is our passion behind it? Yep. So she really helped kind of coach us in that aspect. Yes. Yeah, she was great. Would totally recommend. Oh, yeah, 100%. Would do again. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. But what Joe was saying is like our customer experience really grew in 2023. We've added um, – we used to like – with our booking process, like years ago, you know, we'd send a, a contract and people would have to physically sign it and scan it back. Now we've all, we've moved to completely digital. So yep. everything we just use through a software, contracts are signed that way. Invoices are paid with a credit card. We don't do Venmo or PayPal anymore because it's just easier to keep track of in one place. But even like the way we treat our couples, the oh, way yeah. we do things, like oh, yeah. we were always pretty good because I come from a customer service oh, yeah. background and so do you too. I mean, I was like, a teacher, so like right. I really care about like right. kind of coaching people through the wedding planning process. Yeah. And you planned our wedding. Well, yeah. we planned well, our we wedding. Well, we planned it together. Right. You did a lot of that heavy lifting. Yeah. So our client experience has always been good, but we've picked up those couple things. Right. Those little pieces yeah. through. And I mean the we've way. we've implemented questionnaires. That was something new we off like started offering in twenty twenty three. I don't think we did that in twenty twenty two. If, if we, we did, it was like some the of the last few. couple weddings mm -hmm. in twenty twenty two. Yep. But so we'll send our couples questionnaires that kind of like 
give us more information about their wedding before we have like a final planning call with them. In a format that's offline and they can be chilling and filling it yeah, out on their Yeah, like they can sit on their couch and yep. fill out this questionnaire. Yeah. That's something I'm proud of in 2023 that we've added all those little client experience yeah. like pieces. So For sure. For sure. Yeah. Let's talk about weddings. The interest of keeping yeah. this like short. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole thing's about weddings, but let's right. talk about our favorite moments of weddings in 2023. Well, Do you want to kick us off? I mean, every wedding has special moments. Like if I go back and I look at Very galleries true. or videos that we created in 2023, like I'll be like, oh, remember this? Remember that? Um, so every wedding has those moments. And there's definitely moments in weddings where you know, you know not to look at me because I'm going to cry. Right. Like <laughs> every father-daughter yeah. dance, like my camera's in front of my face because I am literally a puddle. Like, Yeah. Not everyone, but most of them. I think I cried at every single one this year. Did you? Yeah. 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 I'm usually too busy trying to photograph everything because I know you're... Well, I mean, I'm still going to cover it. I'm still going to like do my very, very best. Very true. Um, but like... I definitely, because I mean, we have two little girls, so like I picture them dancing with you at their weddings. So, yeah. Which yeah. leads me to my favorite moment of 2020. What is your favorite moment of 2023? Um, so we had a wedding where the bride's parents were both um, deaf, and so they used American Sign Language to communicate, and the bride, during her father-daughter dance, signed the lyrics of the song so that her dad knew where they were in the music. And that yep. like, I'm like getting teary thinking about it. Yeah, like it was super sweet. It was so sweet. It was such a special moment. And um, for her to do that for her dad so that like he could have that moment with his daughter, that was just like amazing. Yeah. Like, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I think that was definitely my favorite wedding moment of, I mean, I loved that whole wedding. Yeah. That was a fun wedding. And it poured rain and like people yes. like, don't want rain on their wedding day, but that couple was willing to go out in the rain and yep. and take photos and was all yep. about it. Still having fun. Still having fun. Yeah. Still enjoying their wedding. Yep. And it was just a good time. It was. Yeah. That's actually one of my favorite moments from the season too. Was, um, the groom in that wedding mm -hmm. uh, got called into his getting ready suite that and morning, he, and he had that was afternoon. like just learning ASL. He was right? just learning ASL. Yeah, he was. He's proficient enough that he can get through. I think. Yeah. Um, that was at least the impression I got. If you're listening, I'm sure you're uh, proficient more than I think. Yeah. Um, but he was learning his vows or going through his vows again, and practicing with the efficient. Yeah. He kind of like grabbed my shoulder and said, "Hey, can you get in here and yeah. take a few photos?" I'm like, "Absolutely." Yeah. Like, that's. Fantastic. Thank you for telling me. Right. So I got to kind of be a fly on the wall mm -hmm. in that room and just watch those two go through it and just like the care and intention of that groom trying to be sure he had it exactly right. Yeah. It was just so cool. Yeah. It was just neat to see. For sure. And it was really cool for me to photograph that moment and freeze it in time for them. Yes. Yes. And then kind of on like the fun side of things. We had a couple do an Irish goodbye. Oh yeah. That which was so we fun. Hadn't, we hadn't done until no. this year. We were their excuse to leave. Yes. Like, Oh, we have to go take some photos. And so we kind of helped them escape. <laughs> yes. They wanted to do a secret exit instead yeah. of the big flashy mm -hmm. exit. So they didn't want anyone yeah. to know they were leaving. Yeah. Which then like one of the bridesmaids told you earlier that day, like, mm -hmm. Hey, um, when the wedding's over, I'm going to jump in the pond. We're like, oh, okay. Okay, like fine. whatever. And like we were literally at the Irish goodbye and Joe like knew what time she was going to like jump yeah. in the pond. So literally he ran down a hill yeah. to go catch her jumping after, in the after pond. After the car was gone, I'm like, crap, I got to run. Like I yeah. think she's going to. He gonna... literally sprinted down the, yeah. the hill with like two cameras in yeah. his hands. Like, Dangling. You know, yeah. uh, just to catch like a bridesmaid yeah. in her full dress. Like yeah. just go straight right. into a pond. I got down there and she looked at me and I looked at her and she's like, yeah, I'm doing it. Come on. I'm like, okay. Yeah. yeah. So that was a fun wedding. There were, like there they, were people like gathered around with phones. Yeah. And like, yeah. There were definitely traditions in that wedding. Like we had never seen before. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess a Southern tradition is like you bury a bottle of whiskey. Yep. Like at your wedding venue. And then you like dig it up on wedding day yep. and like the groom, like bare hands, like just yeah. And this was right before their bridal portraits. Right. Like, uh -huh. you know, his hands are covered in dirt. And right. oh, now we got to go take photos. Yeah. Like, it worked out. It, was fine. it did. It did. Um, yeah. I think somebody like helped dust him off. Yeah. I think fine. so too. 
And I don't think her dress got that much dirt on it if it did. No. Um, but that was a cool wedding. That yeah. was that was, I think, like one of my favorite fun moments from the year. For sure. There's others that I'm sure I could think of if I had another minute or two to yeah. to sit and ponder, but like that's the one that comes to mind is like yeah. the funnest. Um, reflecting a little bit back to on like the parties of our weddings, I feel like the DJs this year really brought it. Uh-huh. Like most of our DJs really like Indeed. kept a good party going. Yep. Yep. So definitely we yeah. added some of our DJs from 2023 to our recommendation list. Yep. So when our brides are asking, we're sending names along. It was a good year for DJs. It really was. Yeah. yeah. And it's nice to make those connections too. Right. Because that's that's the vendor we get asked about the most. Yes. Is yep. a DJ. Yep. Followed by like hair and makeup. Exactly. Yeah. But everybody wants to know DJ because that's kind of like a little further in the process, right? Right. Right. So... And it's nice to be getting that reputation to be a vendor who knows other vendors enough mm-hmm. to be trusted for that right. recommendation. So, yep. yeah, it's another cool yeah. facet of 2023 yeah. that we made some good progress in. Yeah. I really like all the relationships that we've built in 2023. Yes. Um, I feel like we've really built, built strong relationships with our 2024 clients that have yes. already done their engagement sessions. Yep. Um, and even the 2024 clients that haven't had their engagement sessions yet, I feel like we really have started that good relationship with them. Um, and we're in the process of booking their engagement sessions now. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And it comes with being more comfortable in our business and more comfortable in the process. So yeah, those relationships this year really, I think improved. And I yeah. feel like we were a lot more connected with the majority of our couples mm-hmm. this year. Yeah, and I think we so, have a good foundation for our 2024 couples. We do. I'm so excited. I know. I miss it. Like, yeah, and we're going to some venues that we're really excited about. Yes. Um, some of our favorite venues. We're going to one at. venue, I don't even know how many times. I, we're going to one venue four times, and then yes. we're going to another venue three times, Yeah, I think which is now. pretty exciting. Is it three? I, I think it is three. Yeah. You know the venue I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I do okay. think it's three. I think it's three. I think the one we just recently booked is that venue. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. But that'll be super fun because yeah. we'll want to do those each differently. Yes. And honor each day. We're not going to want so. them to look the same. Right. And they're not going to because everybody's style of their wedding is going to be different. Right. I'm excited to see how that all works out. We're like, we're in the same place, but it still looks different. And we're in the same place like back to back weekends too. Right. Like. With different people, with different styles. Yeah. With, with different, different families. Yes. Yeah. It'll be so fun. Yeah. Super pumped. Yeah. So goals for 2024. Yes. Switching to 2024. Mm-hmm. Because we are now in 2024, which still is weird to I me. I know. I keep saying like this year. This year. And yeah. I mean 2023. Right. <laughs> so I'm like not really transitioned to 2024 yet. Yeah. But I'm working on it. Yeah. So what are our goals for 2024 then? Um, To keep building those good relationships with clients. Yep. Um, To keep booking more weddings and yep. building those relationships. I think we're almost booked for the year though. We're getting close. Um, I'm, getting real I'm close. not like comfortable taking on many more so that yeah. I can give our best possible customer right. experience to yeah. our current clients. And we're starting to see a lot of like duplicate requests. Too, yes. Which sometimes we can swing and sometimes yeah. it gets tricky. So it definitely gets tricky when we get inquiries for the same date because we want to be able to be everywhere at once right. and we can't. Right. We're only two people. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we would like to book a little bit more. Yeah. I would say we're almost there. I don't want to put a number there. on it. I know. I don't either. I, I don't think either. this is, yeah. This is not the, the place to put a yeah. number on Nor it. Nor the time to decide. No. Um, we haven't discussed well, how many more we're willing to take on yet. We'll know it when we see it. Yeah. <laughs> when, we, when we've looked at our calendar and we're like, yeah. um, we need to be done. <laughs> yeah. But we love being a part of wedding days and it's fun for us. And I just, yeah. I don't know. I'm super excited to get into the year and mm-hmm. have a more spread out year because yes. that, that joy, like coming from those weddings will be spread through the whole year yes. pretty much. I mean, right now we have a wedding every month mm-hmm. except for March, I think. January, March, and December. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Given our current place in life with our soon to be one year old. Yes. Like those are the times where you. Yeah. I mean, she's going to be one in March. to dip a little. So, so I, yeah. And we couldn't plan a first birthday party with our oldest because COVID. Mm-hmm. Um, so 
it'll be exciting to plan a first birthday party and be yes. able to have a yeah. party for her. Agreed. Um, so I'm very excited for that. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. So what else is coming in 2024? What are our other goals for the year? Um, well, I want to be as consistent with Blue Hour as possible. Right. Um, which we're, we're doing our best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had, well, um, we had to take a little hiatus We did have there. to take a little hiatus. We were still recovering and sickness from and, like, yeah. however many weddings we did in the span right. of September and October. Yeah. Um, and doing our best to get people things quickly. Yes, yes, because yes. we're we're gonna prioritize getting people their galleries and their videos before we prioritize Blue Hour. Right. At least for like for now, I don't yeah. see us. I mean, we're not technically full time, right? So um, to us, our clients come first with yeah. getting them their stuff. And with any free time that we have, and with any free time, it's gonna be. Um, getting that stuff to them and yep. then blue hour comes next. Yeah. So. But I think we'll have a good year with, with blue hour. I think we have a pretty good system in place yeah. for it now. Yeah. And I think we've had some uh, fun conversations about potentially having guests. Yes. We've, we've had some conversation be, with some people. Could be super fun. Yes. Um, we'll we have to figure to, out how we're going to do that. We'll have to show a wall. That's not the one right behind us. Oh, I know. So <laughs> we'll have to figure that part out. <laughs> yeah. Our, our lovely concrete, black yeah. wall yeah, you know <laughs> you know uh, but having guests would be fun because it just expands the conversation for sure i'd be for excited sure. to have those conversations yes. and it gets other people's perspective on things yes. not just ours yep so, yep um what is another goal that we have for 2024 joe so a goal that we have that you've been crushing I've been since trying. january 1st is to be present and accounted for on social media yeah i've been trying to focus more on instagram yep i feel like in the past i've really focused more on facebook yep and but i also feel like right now i'm kind of slacking on facebook because i'm putting yeah. all my energy on instagram and i think that's okay i think it ebbs and flows yeah and i think people are different places yes. and we're still present on facebook just yeah, not as we're still present frequently. i'm just not as like posting as regularly right. yeah. and i feel like it's just a different platform right and Instagram is more of that digestible, quickly stuff. Yep. Like Facebook is more, I don't know. You have to see it a million times before it yeah. recognizes. Right. Does that make sense? Kind of. Explain. Like, I don't know. I feel like on Facebook, you almost have to like do sponsored ads or like share gotcha. your stuff a million yeah. times. Yeah. It's Whereas not as... like on Instagram, you can sit there and scroll reels for like ever. Yeah. Um, and they're a lot more relevant and there's yeah. not as many sponsored things. No. And yeah, at least I don't And there's not as way. many, like, it's not as much text. Right. It's a lot more visual. It's more just visual. Yeah. And so I've been trying to make more reels and trying right. to post more. Yeah. Um, we did attend a styled shoot recently. We did. That was fun. It was really fun. We yeah. got to network with a lot of um, mm -hmm. photographers and videographers yeah. in the area. And yeah. so I've been trying to post a lot of our content from that. Yeah. Um, it's been really fun seeing you interact with people in that fashion too. I guess. Yeah. So, cause we've had, we've had a lot of like, we've had a lot of interesting buzz yeah. and people getting in touch yeah. and yeah. I mean, we got a wedding inquiry from it. So, yes. Yeah. Um, that's exciting. Yes. Super yeah. exciting. Um, what else? So I think the biggest content that I want to really focus on for us is reels. Right. Because in my research on like social media and how to grow your business on social media, the biggest thing is reels right now. Right. Um, like that's what the Instagram algorithm likes. Yeah. And so like you can post and you can tag and you can do all that, that stuff and you can hashtag and whatever. Right. But like the biggest thing that's going to get more eyes on your content in my research. Yeah. Is Mine reels. Too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and are like people getting married right now are like in their twenties typically. Right. Um, I feel like a lot of our couples this year were like later twenties, early thirties yeah. or this year. I mean, 2023. Well, yeah. In 24, in 24, I mean, we feel like we've shifted a little a shift. younger. I feel little like our couples in 24 are more like the mid twenties, early twenties. Right. And those people and more of like who we're trying to attract to book us for their wedding mm -hmm. are in their mid early twenties sure. and they're on Instagram. Right. So 
Yeah. I feel like the demographic has switched yeah, a little for bit. Sure. Where Facebook used to have more of those folks, but I don't think that's as prevalent no. anymore. I feel like Facebook is a lot of people our age and older. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're in our 30s. So. Yeah. I mean, I don't really do much on there anymore. No. I'm I only really on Facebook because I run a business. Right. Like, I don't I don't yeah. Facebook. Yeah. I really haven't Facebooked for years. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. But being present on social is important. Yes. And I think that's a good thing for us to to take moving forward. And I'm completely fine doing a little less on Facebook and a little yeah. more on Instagram. I think that's a right. wise way yeah. for And I mean with with Blue Hour here, we're being yep. more active on YouTube. True. Um and with reels, we should also be making shorts right. on YouTube and Yes. Like, all the things. Yeah. All, all the, things. the places. <laughs> all the places. Yeah. Something else that I want to do, and I don't really know what that looks like yet, is I want to provide education in some some form. Um, and I know Blue Hour is doing that yeah. in a way. Mm-hmm. Like we're we're giving information about booking your vendors, and yeah. I'm hoping some of these some of these might be more vendor yeah, photographer and think, specific. And I think with some of the ones we have planned in the future, they're going to be more photographer specific and less sure. like couple specific but i would like to offer education in another aspect of potentially holding like a workshop um at some point this year so yeah that would be super fun yeah we've had some some talks about it yeah and i think we're in kind of the beginning stages definitely the beginning stages um but i feel like it's really doable and Mm -hmm. i feel like the way we would want to do it would be super helpful and something that hasn't been offered or that we haven't area, like seen offered. Haven't seen offered. If it in, has, we haven't noticed. Right. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. But we want to provide some sort of education workshop where photographers that are just getting into the wedding industry yep. can listen to like how we provide customer service to our clients, can ask questions. Yep. We're hoping to have um some of our couples there, yeah. like mm-hmm. our past couples that are willing to model yeah. for um, these people. But the customer service so, piece is The customer like, service piece I think is so it's important. A, it's a core tenant of, of J&M, yeah. right? So we feel like we have a lot to offer mm-hmm. there yeah. um, in a workshop format that would, that would just sure. be really helpful for and people. And I mean, the whole like start of our business was because you attended a workshop. True. Yes. Yeah. That I'm very grateful for. I mean, yeah. I... I saw that on that workshop on Instagram um, while I was working a completely different job than I was now. I had been doing photography forever. Mm -hmm. And I said, huh, that'd be kind of cool. Like, I wonder if I could do weddings. And then I went there. The people were super cool. I fell in love with the whole thing. And now here we are. So what a cool callback it would be. For sure. To be able to offer something like that to others. Like, that's kind of where my heart is. Right. And so we just want to be able to offer education yep. because we feel like we, we know a thing or two at this point. And, um, watch the copyright infringement. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so, yeah. But in, in turn, like we're also going to be getting education this year. Yes. So we're attending a photo summit later yes. this year, um, where the lineup of speakers is people that have been in the industry for a long time. Yep. And there are people that are well respected in the industry, and yep. so we're excited to go and learn and yep, hear what they have to say. Because it's so important to me that we always keep pushing and keep learning. I never mm-hmm. want to be like plateau in my no. knowledge. I want to keep no. figuring it out. And I feel like, especially in 2023, I feel like our knowledge of the craft and the art behind it has definitely mm-hmm. grown for sure. Yep. You know, we're not just going yeah. and, and to a wedding and yeah. taking the photos and leaving. Like, right. we're making them beautiful. Yes. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Yeah. So, and I, I don't know. I try in every wedding. I'm going to give them something artistic, too. Right, yeah. Like, I'm not right. going to just do the, yeah. all right, look at the camera and smile. Yep. Like, yep. I'm going to yep. give them something that if they wanted to frame it and put it on their wall as, yeah. like, art, they yeah. could. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. You're getting super good at that. Well, and thanks. I respect it a ton. I'm trying. Because I can do that to some level, but like the way you see things sometimes is just wild. So yeah. it's it's cool to see. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you you did some pretty cool stuff too in 2023. Yeah. 
but so. just the concept of continuing to push that yeah. boundary, push that For knowledge sure. level, push For the sure. experience is just super important. So yeah. I'm excited to listen to other people who are further along down the path mm-hmm. and see what they have to say and geek out with other people who are there and yeah. just the whole thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So um, this wasn't in our notes, but I want to ask you. So oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> in 2023, Joe, we kind of traded off engagement sessions. Like you would take an engagement session, then I would take an engagement mm-hmm. session. Yep. And on those engagement sessions, we challenged each other. Do you remember what the challenge was? I do. We challenged each other to do a double exposure. An in-camera double exposure. An in-camera double exposure on every session to yeah. see who could pull off the coolest one. Yeah. I want to do it again. Okay. In 2024. Yeah. And... We'll, should, we, should we pick a new thing that's well, not a double exposure? I don't know. Maybe we should. Well, maybe we put on our Instagram stories all of our double exposures. Ooh, that'd be fun. From 2023 that we're on engagement yeah. sessions. We could do like a head-to-head thing. Yeah, and yeah. see who gets the most votes. Yeah, that'd be fun. I don't know. We could do it blind it's a too. Yeah, like we won't say who yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because I, I love the idea that you had, <laughs> and I think other people really did too. Yeah. Um, where we posted or you posted yeah. photos that either of us took and mm-hmm. had people guess the photographer. It was super cool. Yeah. So. so I think we do it with our double exposures. Yeah. That could be cool. Ah, uh, I got an idea. Do it in March. In March? March Madness double exposure. Oh my gosh. Double exposure bracket. Oh my goodness. I don't know do how that. to set that up. Huh? All I know is how to make the little poles. Oh, well, that, that's what you would do, <laughs> but like you'd have a winner for each Oh, one. like A or B? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then B wins and goes on to the next bracket. Right. Okay, we could yeah. do it in March. Yeah, let's so do it. So it's just our 2023 double exposures? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know. Get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> this is basement. All right. I love that idea. Yeah. So coming in March, um, 2023, <laughs> um, double exposure. Yeah. March Madness bracket you, stuff. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we wrap this up? Was all there anything else? T- all 10 of our listeners will go to our Instagram and yeah. vote. That's 10 people that'll hey, vote. Hey, that's 10 people. Yeah. I think we should wrap this up. What <laughs> yeah, you let's think? wrap it up. Um, where can they find us? Well, they can find us at j and Photo Video on Instagram. And it's and, like A-N-D. Right. Um, on Instagram, we're also on Facebook, YouTube, yep, um, and jnmphotovideo.com. Not TikTok. No, we're not on TikTok. I'm too old for TikTok. Agreed. I don't think I can TikTok. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah. And it's too complicated. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the podcast, yeah. Blue, Blue, Blue Hour, Hour with j m is available on all places your popular podcasts are found. Uh, Apple, Spotify, I believe Google as well. I don't know. Um, I listen in, on Apple. It's in several places. So look for us there. Feel yeah. free to like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you're on the YouTube platform. Uh, drop us a DM on Instagram. We always love trying mm-hmm. to answer those. And Feel um, free to send us like a topic that you want to hear us talk about. Yeah. Um, we have some planned, but we yep. would love to hear from what our listeners would like to hear us talk This about. show was actually a, a suggestion. Yeah, it was. Yep. Yeah. So... I put up uh, like a whatever the comment co- box. the comment box yeah. on our stories, and someone suggested that we do a yeah. recap of 2023. And then yeah. I don't remember if it was the same person suggested goals for 2024 or if it was a separate suggestion. Yeah, I don't really remember. Yeah, but yeah, this was a suggested one. Yeah, but, but we love interacting, so yeah. feel free to drop us a note, and um, we'll see you there. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>